Well, it certainly looks like a bar, and it definitely sounds like a bar. And I can see people eating food everywhere. But it is, in fact, Manchester Airport. So, what's going on? Well, there's plenty going on in terms of development of Terminal 1. And today, Coronation Street's Jane Danson was opening a £10 million food and drink facility in Earthside space that's lain unused for years. The airport is the start of your holiday, isn't it? It's you know, a place to get all your last-minute bits that you might maybe have forgotten left at home. And it's nice to have a nice proper meal, a good substantial meal, especially if you are on a flight for a long time. However, some old airport traditions have been re- How long are you going to Zante for? Only a week if we get there. Why? What's happened? I had a six hour delay flight. We might not be going today either yet. (laughs) Of course, airport security queues are a bugbear for everybody, but commercial director Andrew Harrison says that the redevelopment here will address that. This is the very first part of what is a long programme. As as I mentioned, we're moving security and, and doubling the size of security and making it a much more efficient layout. So, therefore, security will, have, will go from being eight lanes currently to up to 14. Um, we'll have f- efficient space around that, and that's been really driven by the people who work on our security lanes in terms of designing what they need. What you've seen up there used to be one big empty space, but it's all part of the airport's plan to get its shopping and leisure facilities all airside so that the only thing that you have landside will be baggage check-in and security. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.